All right, let's just freaking try this, huh? Ah! All right, uh, gonna be doing some sealed tonight. Get ready for the arena open. This will be my first sealed of this format. Oh. Oh, the reality chip is good. Eater is okay. Genji is good, obviously. I haven't played Mind Link Mech yet. Let's see what the pool looks like. Alright. Uh, let's just put all the playable cards into our deck builder and then see where we're at from there. White actually looks horrible. To me. Um, it's playable. Chip. Octopus. Ooh. Blue is probably where we're going to end up. I guess we play Mind Link Mech. I'd be interested to try that. Clawing Torment. Life. It's a good card. The Reckoner's Bargain. Tommy's playable, long reach from that, double twisted embrace, Junji. Um, I have not yet gotten to play with Okiba Salvage. I'm not sure that that's what we really want to be doing. There's some red stuff here. Red looks pretty bad. As per usual, let's look at green. Prancer's good, preservers are good, fade, careful of alteration, tech wrecker, goshintai, kami, this is fine, this is good. Um, the uncharted haven is a big deal. This jungle hollow is probably relevant here. Grove Archer, Fang of Shigeki Commune. Alright, so... The blue cards are not incredible. To be honest. They're not bad, but they're not incredible. We have a Mech Titan core here as well. Which is kind of interesting. Um, I'm gonna cut blue to start with, and we'll see where we end up here. So, hmm, I like walking skyscraper also in general. Peter of Virtue is probably playable here. I could see a network terminal coming in just to enable some of this. Feels like we want to play black though. It's most of our best removal as Jinji. Let's see, we're looking at 17 lands currently. We don't splash the mech or the octopus. The reality chip is very good. It's a two drop. Let's see, where are we looking at? We have 12 enchantments and four artifacts. So the Kami is not incredible. Now let's look back and see if we missed anything else. I don't think blue looks good. I don't think white looks good either. These cards are bad. This is fine. Yeah. Uh, I don't think White's going to do it. I would love to play Behold the Unspeakable. But I'm not sure that's where we're at. I'm going to cut that to start with. Let's see, Courtyard. Let's see, Cavern of Souls Land. Uh, we could put on 
Oops. Put on spirit, but otherwise we're not really looking to do that. Um so this is 41 cards with 17 lands. Um let's see, what are we looking at for skyscraper modified? One, two, three, four. Uh, five, six, technically, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Putting Kami. Yeah, I mean, that seems pretty good. Splash the reality chip. This card seems powerful to me. Could play Network Terminal. It's not really a combo. We're not really going super high. Clawing Torment is not something that I'm convinced of. Yeah, that's four artifacts. Hmm. I almost would rather play Reckoner's Bargain than Clawing Torment. We're not super aggressive. I mean, I think this card is like, okay. I think this deck is pretty solid, actually. That's 12, 15, 17. Okiba Salvage. Not convinced that's what we want to be doing either. We're playing basically all of our green cards because they're so good. Hmm. Three, four, five. Five blue sources with a commune. Probably cutting an island and adding in a forest. I believe that makes sense. And then we have eight, nine, three, plus the grafted growth. Take out Clawing Torment. I think that that's going to be bad. Can't really play Network Terminal. Turn to action is fine in the creatures that I have. 13. Um, let's just do Reckoner's Bargain. See how that goes. That could be decent. That seems reasonable to me. We can't really do this Mech Titan core stuff either. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll with that. See what we do. Um, this hand is not great. That being said, I don't think I have Mulligan. Just have to hope to draw some uh, cheaper creatures so that we can suit them up. Put the forest into play, Peter Virtue. Let's turn down that audio a little bit. Alright, uh, Life of Toshiro Umazawa is probably a pretty good draw. I'm not going to play it right away. Yes. 
Yes. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've gotten to cast this card. Okay, so it's just gonna be busted against them. Okay, just play life. And I think I think we're gonna kill the network disruptor. Play land, we'll pass the turn. Obviously, this is like a little bit telegraphed. Oh, we're getting ninja. All right, that's not the worst. They do get to draw a card, but it is an X one. Okay. Well, let's kill that. And just play our ambusher. This is a pretty sweet combo with the uh, Eater of Virtue. Because it gets to eat lifelink off of it. I feel like we're in pretty good shape. Nice little two for one with the old Life of Toshiro Umazawa. Another network disruptor. Kind of like to draw land here. Black land, I should have clarified. All right. Well, I guess they had the bank buster anyway. It's gonna be tough to send in. Um. Yeah, I guess we could put the counter here and then trade with the bank buster. Kind of don't hate that. There we go. Let's play land. Let's. Put this here. Put for six. They can just trade with the Blade Blizzard kit soon if they want. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Gain some life. Exile our creature. Put this here. Pass the turn. This now is lifelink. We're set up for a twisted embrace next turn, depending on what they do. I did not notice that they had green mana. very deep in thought. Okay. That's going to be powerful. Mm, ah. Oh, we very much like that, to be honest. i kind of be surprised if they blocked here. They block, we trade, we gain two. Then we just kill... So we don't even need to do anything. We'll just attack to start with. I don't think they're blocking, but they might be. This is kind of one of the biggest cards that would punish them. Interesting. Okay. All right. We trade. Play Kappa Tech Wrecker. Um, so they're gonna scry two, draw two. It's kind of gonna be tough. P 
possible that we were just supposed to twist and embrace and then cap attack wrecker in and kill the behold yeah i mean that's pretty rough to be honest Imperial Oath is a really good card. <laughs> yeah, I think... I think we maybe screwed up there. We're gonna hit again. Alright. Um... Definitely going to play the Goshen tie. I don't think we're killing anything. The question is, do we want to move this? I think we'd rather keep it here. Mm, we're not attacking. We will auto pay. Get a 2-2. Two -two. Probably going to have to kill that. It's kind of okay. Not been excited about this card so far. Might be better in like black white. Okay. Oh no. Okay. That on that. Not that big of a deal. I'm probably just gonna do this now, though. We'll draw some lands. Not really what we want to be doing. They did not play Moth Rider Patrol. One, two, three, four. So they could have Turtle here, or Crab, rather, which we could pay for. They also could have a Bounce Spell. Hmm. Suspicious. I guess we don't get an attack in any way. I think we're going to go for it. Alright. Just kind of really wanted to kill that. Cool, we can take that out with Twisted Embrace also. Or actually... Oh! We're attacking. Not sure if they meant to do that. But maybe they did. Maybe they have like, Farewell or something. Alright, that's uh... That's castable and equipable. So I'm trying to figure out if we... Yeah, here, let's do this first. Let's see. Oh. I should have manually tapped that. Alright, so there's an island on top. Damn, that's annoying. Um... Part of me just wants to do this and then get in. They block and then they have another blocker. This stays a death toucher though, I guess. All right, let's uh, let's do that. Let's kill the Network Disruptor. And then let's attack. They can chomp. Oh, I don't like whatever's happening here. Ah, the Ganja. Okay. That's going to be pretty annoying. Alright. Reality chip. And I guess we'll play the land. Yeah, that's pretty bad for us. It's not gain death touch. Hmm. 
That's interesting. I would have thought it would have gained death touch. Alright, I think we're losing now. this. Yeah. Land on top is not what we want to see. I think we got a little too aggressive. So now we have to deal with this 8-8. We could have killed it before. Wait. Oh, they put a Ganjo back on top. That's interesting. This is a blocking creature, right? Excuse me. Uh. Yeah. I guess we take six. I'm going to take a lot of damage here. The archers is at least a creature. Alright, well, let's just play a land. Can't really do anything. He's a little bit awkward. By a little bit, I mean very. playing with their food. Maybe I win to them timing out? Mm -hmm. This game was probably mine to lose. Yeah, Imperial is very good. Trying to think about what else is in the deck to draw. We need a piece of hard removal basically to to deal with this, or our uh, our death toucher maybe. Death toucher doesn't really help against selfless samurai, which is kind of rough. Or moth Rider patrol, to be honest. I don't know, I said that again. <laughs> Clearly they're uh, disconnected, if anything. Hmm. So the question is, are we going to have to wait again? Ah, they reconnected. <laughs> All right, two, four, six, seven, plus eight. So I'm just going to take 14. Hmm. That is a welcome reprieve. I basically need this to... Yeah, I mean, that's not going to do it. That is not going to do it. So let's reconfigure this to here. I swear to God. Okay. I was going to say, if you drew a removal spell, it would have been... Bomaronied. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Kami. Uh, 
Um, no, I'm not going to pick that up. There's a reason to. Alright, Kami of Transience is not bad. So, let's put... I guess it doesn't matter. I guess I'll put uh, Heater of Virtue on Geothermal Kami. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I mean, the reality chip is good. I think we're still not out of the woods yet. This is an interesting attack, though. So I know there's a Kami on top. So Iganjo is going to do something here eventually. I'm kind of of the mind of doing this. They're probably going to shoot the Bamboo Grove Archer. I basically I want to get them to burn their selfless samurai. Okay. So there's my geothermal Kami. I'm gonna go to four. Alright, um, hmm. Well, we're gonna start here. Alright, let's take the Jukai Preserver. It's a careful cultivation. Um, alright, let's put Kami into play. I mean, this thing gets big. Let's put the Jukai Preserver into play, make the Kami bigger. And... I think this just goes here. Um, yeah, I guess we play this, right? Let's make green. And... I don't know where we're putting this, though. Maybe just on the Jukai Preserver? Alright. Junji the Midnight Sky. Is this a graveyard? A graveyard. Alright, let's see what they have. Not a whole lot, to be honest. All right, let's put this uh, on the Kami. Okay, tapping Kami. No attacks, obviously. Okay. Basically, I need a way to kill this patrol. It looks like they're not attacking this turn, though. Right? This is blue. Yeah, I mean, they only have three mana, so... I'd be surprised if they attacked. Is that Menace? Opponent wants to trade. No cards in hand. Opponent does not want to trade. Seems like a bad attack to me, but what do I know? Oh, yeah, obviously. Okay. They get to samurai that. But now I get to hit back for quite a bit. With lifelink. They can't tap at end of turn. So 
think I'm definitely attacking with this. Sure. I think it's great if they want. Alright, so probably tapping one of these two. Um, I don't want to chump. Let's put the bamboo grove archer here. Commune is a good draw for them. A little bit of selection. Alright, Tanuki... Could be worse. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, they can't play Tanuki and also tap, which is nice. Ah, oh, okay. We're passing the turn. That's good for me. Fade into Antiquity. Okay. Well, that's going to be good too. I think... Just killing this. Oof. And the reality chip is busted. <laughs> well, okay. That's why we uh, splashed the reality chip. Cool. Cool, cool. That one was kind of tough, to be honest, though. For my brain. Hope we can do something reasonable here. As opposed to almost throwing the game away. I am on the draw. This hand is okay if I draw green, but I think it's probably a mulligan. This hand is better. Part of me wants to put back Twisted Embrace. Part of me wants to put back Blossom Prancer. I think... I think I'm going to put back Twisted Embrace just because we have these two Death Touchers. To sort of hold down the ground. And I'm going to regret it immediately, of course, but it's fine. Now, I think we just play Kappa Tech Wrecker. Um, this is going to be good against... Yeah, I don't even know if I would kill that with this counter, but um, this is going to be a good against a bunch of plays like this. What is that? Ah, this card. I'm not convinced that that card is good. Let's see. Three cards, right? And then you can only cast creature spells. Okay. Um, that's interesting. For sure attacking with this, the question is, do we just bring it back? I kind of think so. And then we'll just play the Fang. Obviously now they know about the Kappa Tech Wrecker, but... Okay, and this does not actually mill them. Kind of feels like they have two creatures, to be honest. I could get really punished for this, but these are the chances that we take. All right, circuit mender can crew the bike. Probably would block Fang. Kind of a rough draw for us.
I think we're playing Cap Attack Wrecker and Swamp in passing. Don't really want to trade with this. And the art on that is very cool. Trackage! Harmonious Emergence. This is just a spirit, right? Green, green. Alright, I'm just gonna play Blossom Prancer here. And work towards this skyscraper as we go. Ooh, Twisted Embrace. So let's see. Uh, I mean, that's what we're taking. And we will not attack. It'd be hard to get through on this board, to be honest. There's another one of these. Maybe I was right to keep this, considering where we ended up. Um, so I could twist it, embrace, and then hit for five. They left two mana up. Seems a little sketchy. Not crazy about doing that into open mana. So next turn we have the Skyscraper. They know about this too. I think we just pass here. It's not bad either. They honestly could have a counter spell here, so maybe I'll just play this. I mean, they could still obviously have a counter spell, but we at least have three mana up to counter crab. Um... Yeah, I think I'm still okay waiting here. Make this thing bigger. Hmm. I keep looking at this hover bike. It's very weird in their deck, I feel like. I don't know what else they're doing, but... Ooh, I like that quite a bit, actually. Let's just do this. Get to eat some of these cards out of their hand unless they want to start sacking stuff. I guess it lets them sack the egg or the circuit mender. If they have something underneath the egg, they get to um cast it here. Okay. Like that's a pretty good hit, but that's not actually that bad for us. Um yeah, no attacks. Pump this guy. Now do they have something? Seems like they have like a bounce spell or something. Maybe they have turtle in hand. 
Coiling Stalker. Okay. Probably sacking the Circuit Mender, I would guess. Yeah. Circuit Mender to draw a card. Three cards in hand. Alright, um... I'm not crazy about just like going for this. I think I'm gonna play Kami though. And we'll just pass. The fact that I have this Goshen Goshen tie running is kind of uh giving me sort of like the long game advantage at this point. On the hover bike? Okay. That's interesting. Ooh, we like this. Alright, so they have two forests up. They could have the hexproof trick. They have nothing with reach though, they just have this dude. All right, we're just going to get Junji into play. Oh, I guess they could have a they could have the bite spell too, which they might use here. All right, well, we're going to pay. Okay. They did not use it. If that is what they have, I mean, this on the vehicle now doesn't really make any sense. Ah, uh, okay. We want my Junji. All right, that's uh, that's actually useful, I'd say. Um, we just hit with the fire now. I think that I just want to hold this up in case they have something here. I don't know what they would have, but. We're ahead and we don't need to make a play. Like this is 6-6. Six, six. Eventually this will get big enough to attack. It's the bamboo grove archer does pump the kami, but somewhat baffled by what they have in hand. It feels like the um one mana hex proof card. Because they've seen this like the whole game ever since I blossom prancered for it. Forgot for a second how I got it. I was like, I haven't played anything to look through my deck, and I have nothing in my yard. Can you shatter these? I've not done all my clicking on this map yet. Yep. Start to get a little scary eventually, I guess. Okay. 
Okay. That resolves, sir. Sure. Right, let's put a stop after attackers just in case. I want them to be able to uh Do they just do nothing? Okay. That was weird. Um, it just says vigilance, right? Okay. Let's hit. Yeah, this thing gets bigger. I don't know what's in their hand. They could be lands. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lands, they've got nine. Fortunately, I don't have like a trick here, but. So the dragons are good. Okay. Okay. I don't really know what's happening. Oh, they have Poseid you. Okay, that's fine. Aren't we attacking with 6-5? Yeah, I'll search. Just put another forest into play. Okay, I see. I see what was going on. Um... Block here and take one. I'm not sure what we're doing here, but ah, okay. Some sense. I don't really know what they're controlling now. I gain some life. They can do their thing. They can kill like a uh, animus. I don't know. That thing. Sure. We still have a death toucher though. I don't really know what's going on. Oh, that is a good draw. Play that. Put a counter. Let's not get greedy. Let's just kill the fang. Maybe I'll crew this thing up. Kind of. Let's attack first. The ground is still stable. Especially once we play Skyscraper. Let's just play Skyscraper. I said they could have a turtle, but... I would like to, this game to be done with. I feel like we're winning. Let's even go for lethal if they tap out. So we have four, yeah, which of course they're not going to tap out. Um, let's just kill the Coiling Stalker. And we're just going to attack with the dragon. 
They can chump if they want with the hover bike. Okay, we're just taking it. Just gonna pass the turn. Not sure that's gonna do it. Love Roaring Earth though. It's one of my favorite uncommons. This guy too. Okay, so now we're all out attacking. Alright. Eight eight blocks here. One three blocks here. Three three blocks here. Three two blocks here. Trying to think of what they could have to ninja in. I think we just do that. I feel like maybe better blocks available, I'm not sure, but. I think they're attacking out of desperation because they're about to lose. Hit him with a little year ago. Hello? Opponent. Do we have to watch them lag out? Is that what we have to do? Say it ain't so. I think this opponent might be a little salty. Bing bong. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have hit him with the uh, double year go. Okay, this will go through. All right, they're dead. Good game. All right, I peed and I got more water. Here we go. Game three. Hopefully this one goes faster. Red Sox. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I never thought about it, but that spelling is kind of hilarious to me. All right, this hand's fine. Very heavy on the four drops. Alright. I realize we lost audio there for a second. Still new at this. Hello. Ooh, we have an opponent mulligan in? I like to see that. Kappa Kappa. Oh boy. Actually, that's very good. In fact, so I mean, they never block the rat, right? Shouldn't I just get the other one? <laughs> Alright, let's play Bamboo Grove Archer. One, this blocks this. Two, they're never blocking both of these rats next turn. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so, well, we do unfortunately have to attack with the rats, and we're going to Kappa this one, and we'll take action, kill this, we'll land. I think that's a pretty good exchange for me. We can ambush her back the Kappa and then kill the Modern Age too. Oh, Shrine. Shy Swimmer Koi. Okay. Um, hmm. Not much we can do here. I'm playing Kami and then passing. Ooh, 
Brutal. Feels like we need to race at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna play Jukai Preserver. I pump the Kami. I'm gonna pump this. Play the land. Hit. Whew. six in the air. Are we getting injured? Okay. Taking nine. Not sure that's the worst for me though, to be honest. Um So we can cap of this, we can bring this back to put this into play. 10, 11, 12, 13. And then we can bring that back out to kill the uh twisted embrace. One, two, three, four. Four. That's gonna cost four mana. Okay. Let's uh, ninja this back. And I think we just go to damage from here. Put them to four, play the Kappa Tech Wrecker. Gain three, gain four. And then... Possible that we wanted to do that to get that in and kill this, but... Kinda wanted to have the, uh... 5-5 five, five blocked. Okay. No attacks is good. One card in hand. They discarded Chain Flail Centipede, so it kind of feels like they have something. Let's start off with the Commune. Ah, Twisted Embrace. Okay. Well, honestly, I would have bluffed something there, but... We'll take the win. A little bit squirrely to just run the Twisted Embrace into open mana, especially against blue. And they discarded a relevant spell too, and then didn't play anything. I think that was a pretty effective bluff on their part. Okay, Reality Chip as a blocker. Uh... This is one of the best cards in our deck. Long Reach of Night is good. I think I'm going to keep. This one might be a little greedy. Fang. I don't like to see Fang, necessarily. Um, just means that they can... Uh, Oh, okay. Means that they can ninja on two. So they can fight my reality chip, which I don't like. Alright, I'm just gonna play it. Um, gives me some information here. 
This fade into antiquity is a good draw. I think we're probably just taking three again. No box. This gets menace as long as they have an enchantment. Well, play a land. I don't really care about this anymore. Unfortunately, I think we're just going to do this. Just because I don't want to fall too far behind. I've never actually seen anybody activate this for the mana ability. It's unfortunate that that's an enchantment. That both of them are enchantments. Prefer them to have none. So we're going to take four. Or they have a ninja. Okay. Play the thing again. Oh, they have a Shigeki. That's pretty rough for us. Though, I guess this doesn't get through. Well, this gets through, we take four. Yeah, I mean, this hasn't gone super well. The draws have not been great. This is a pretty good draw. I expect them to just discard. Honestly, discard the Fang is not bad. Yep. I wonder if we uh, gain four from sacking the back of this. I think probably not. Possible is supposed to wait to fade. Okay. Kind of expected. We block here. Tommy draws them a card. It's pretty rough for us. This is going to pop up, they're going to discard. Alright, Bamboo Grove Archers. I mean, we're not in a good spot. <laughs> For sure. You have to go block block. Um, Hmm. Believe that's going to kill us. But we shall see. They crunch on in here and sack this thing. We'll go to six and then we just die. Yeah, they had a pretty quick curve out there, and uh, I didn't have a creature to go with my chip. Speaking of which... I go first. Sure, I mean... Not like an amazing hand. So we just play the Bamboo Grove Archer. Oh, 
Oh, it's just gonna attack. <laughs> they get a land. Alright. Well, that means that we're doing this. Weirdly. Um, turn 4 Junji is gonna be good. Play Junji. doing here um put this here I believe it and I think that I like doing this That's what they fixed on this card. Okay. I was unaware. Uh, sure. Deal four to it. Deal four to it. Okay. It's gonna happen. Let's see. Um, I could get... I don't have anything, obviously. I could have gotten back this, I guess. Do I want their samurai? I think I'm just gonna make them discard. Takanuma. Okay. So. Play the preserver. Put a counter here. Equip this. I'm actually going to pass here just to insulate this Kami from uh, Fire Speed or whatever. I think this is going to be hard for them to beat. And I think that we don't play anything. Yeah. I think their only way out of that was like farewell. So trying to make sure that we don't die to that card uh, is important. All right, let's four wins. Good, good. Yeah, the dragons are good. And obviously, this sword pulled a lot of weight in that game. Giving flying to all of my other creatures is like pretty busted. I think flying and life are probably the two best things that you can give. Oh, we love to start with life of Toshiro with a ninjutsu creature too. That's pretty powerful. I will keep this. And they're on the play. Alright, well they have something that we can't kill, but it's alright. Maybe they'll have a two drop we can kill. They don't. All right, we're gonna wait. We wait one turn. Let's just put this here. It'd be really funny if this uh, <laughs> gave Defender to all your creatures. They definitely should have put that in. This is a hilarious little meme. Okay, 
We will eat two damage. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good for them. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I think we're just gonna play our ambusher here. Sure. I'm gonna trade here. Did my sword reach? Ooh, Kappa Tech Wrecker. That's a good one. Let's just play that. And we'll equip. Reach Death Touch 3-3. Three, three. This, this has done an insane amount of damage. Sad that we didn't get the sword on the uh, ambusher. Be doing nothing this turn. Assassin's Ink. Well. Sad, sad, sad. Okay. Let's play this Kami. I'm not sure if we're supposed to fade that. I'm at 15 now. I think I won't. I would imagine they have another removal spell. Also stuck on colors. Okay, there's their red. Finally a target for uh, Toshiro. Let's do that. Five, three. Kill this. I think we're still leaving this alive. Okay. That's fine. Um, just hit. And I'm gonna leave a land in hand because they're black. We get virus beetled or something. Maybe we're supposed to kill this just so they're not, they don't ninja it back. Yeah, rabbit battery's good. It dies, though. Which is kind of interesting. So they put this on here and then lifelink attack. Well, we kind of have to kill that. I guess we take two less damage if we don't attack here. So we probably just pass. And then we're going to get our 2 3 next turn. Yep. Take two. Okay. Well, it's not, it's not the worst thing ever. So 
let's pick blue and let's pass. I'm going for a double block here. Oh, that is not good for us. At least we have one creature left. They have a lot of removal. Seems like they're flooding out though now. Alright, so... We're gonna play the reality chip. Put this here. Blossom Prancer, very good. Draw next turn. And I think we stabilize if we can uh, dodge another removal spell. Even still, I guess we get to just trade. Still have the reality chip. No, nope, first they have a lethal exploit in hand. So if they draw a removal spell, we're in rough shape. For that. Hmm. It's actually tough. My impulse is to 